Hello guys and welcome to another MK Mobile video. Guys, today we are doing Battle 180, the notorious Battle 180, which uh, I defeated. I actually didn't defeat it, I actually overpowered it with uh, great equipment and great characters. However, Legendus is here for you guys in order to be able to pass this stage. Basically, he used two extremely uh, weak characters and by the way, if this guide works for you, make sure to subscribe, like, if you can, you can support this guy. He has amazing MK Mobile content, it's really amazing. Uh, he does stuff that I don't want to even try. It's like, I don't know how much time it took him in order to do that, but probably like 20 or 30 attempts. And he has much, much better accounts, so he doesn't have to do that, but still, please appreciate him, he's amazing. Now, he used one character actively and one character passively. Probably a lot of you are guessing that, yeah, he used Classic Ermac. Now, you know Classic Ermac is the boss killer because of his passive. He can uh, quickly, actually not quickly, slowly but steadily, uh, power, not power jam, sorry, life drain the uh, boss team until they are at sliver of health and then you can finish them off. However, there is a problem here. <laughs> and the problem is, by the way, that's really important. Uh, everything is in Russian here. But I just want to let you know that, of course, the Hawk stance is a must. In the tower, you must have the Hawk stance. So this is true for Legendus build. Uh, yeah, so even if he is draining the life of the enemy team, one mistake, one of your character dies, you get your revenant triggered, and that's it. You are done, because they will start regenerating, right? Uh, so Legendus put in action another character in order to make sure this never happens. And this character is Injustice to Raiden. However, the good news is that you don't have to have him maxed out. Even at Fusion Zero, it will do the job. Of course, in order to do that, you need to have this talent, which is called Weak Point Attacks. You have to make sure that this talent is maxed. Because Injustice to Raiden passive is really, really good. What it does is basically it's, um, power draining the enemy. And in the process, you can snare the enemy. This is what you want. You don't want, uh, for example, Jade to escape or any other character to escape. Because once they escape, it's really horrible. The other character attacks in with a lot of power and she kills you instantly. Now, look at his equipment. Basically, he doesn't... Actually, he has the revolvers maxed out. Quite honestly, Justice to Raiden doesn't require Block Breaker, but I would take Block Breaker in this fight because you have to make sure that Jay doesn't hit you. He has Injustice to Raiden Fusion 3, level 20. This can be achieved with Injustice to Raiden level 50 Fusion 0. This will be... Pretty, pretty cool. If you're looking and you have this character Fusion 4, Fusion 5, it's going to be even faster. And of course, you can equip some tower equipment. What he did is he used revolvers, uh, he used uh, the mask, so he has a, uh, resistance to the boss, which is really, really important. He also has two pieces that every single one of you guys should have maxed out if you are uh, at Battle 180. Uh, the reason why he does that is simple. He needs to make sure that he doesn't get power drained, uh, frostbitten all the time, because you know, this tower is all about uh, the buffs. If you can resist the buffs, you're good to go. Now, let's fast forward and uh, quickly show you the actual gameplay. He has a very simple strategy. He's snaring uh, Jade with Injustice to Raiden. And once she's snared, he just gets to X-Ray, does X-Ray. Uh, the X-Ray boosts his power generation, so he gets to another X-Ray and repeats the process. And because Injustice 2 Raiden is an impeccable fighter, you can take a look at his uh, gear. By the way, Jackie, forget about Jackie, he said that he was too sleepy and he wanted to use Monk for some reason. But Jackie is useless, Jackie is just there. I mean, <laughs> actually the third character in this particular formation, it doesn't really matter because Actually, you can use Flame uh, Flame God Lucane if you happen to have him, because uh, you can make sure that Injustice to Raiden has uh, some extra chance to break the blocks. But apart from that, Jack is useless. However, Ermac is very important because of his passive, so you need to have Injustice to Raiden Fusion Zero. By the way, you can buy him right about now, because he's available now. So if you're wondering, if you want to spend something little in the game, and you're wondering what, uh, after looking at this guide, probably you say, okay, I'm going to buy Injustice to Raiden and give it a try, because really, he will work. Also, you need Classic Ermac Fusion Zero Level 1. This is all you need in order to pass the stage. Now you can see Jade's equipment, uh, you can see the other Jade equipment, all of them has this pesky item, uh, and the other Kitana's equipment. So, all three of those girls have this annoying item that gives you tons of debuffs if you break their block into special attack. 
and I have a pretty good idea for a future video about that. Now, the battle starts, and you can see Injustice 2 Raiden is such a great fighter. Jade has no chance in hell. She cannot hit him like at all. At the same time, he's doing some little damage. And now he is showing something really interesting. It is very logical, of course, this shouldn't come as a surprise to nobody, that if you're playing Injustice 2 Raiden, you have to max out weak point attacks. Actually, it's not even supposed to be maxed out, even at Fusion not fusion, but level 1 or 2 to do the job, because he's siphoning the power, like, all the time. But it, if you have him low fusion, it doesn't really matter, just max it out. And he said that Warlock spell, this talent, Zaklinania Kulduna, or whatever it is called in Russian, <laughs> so Warlock spells actually boosts the power drain of Injustice to Raiden. That's really interesting. A legend said that to me, I didn't know it. I haven't played with Injustice to Raiden for a long time. But he said that this... Uh, Warlock spells actually boosts the effectiveness of Injustice to Raiden passive. Probably I'm going to make a video on that, testing it. I had no clue that this is the case, but it seems it is. So, those two items are really, really important. Those with talents. At the same time, Revenant is useless. I mean, why would you have Revenant? Even if your Revenant gets triggered, it's game over, they will start regenerating. So, with that said, let's proceed with the gameplay. The gameplay is straightforward. Uh, because Injustice 2 Raiden is a total boss, you can see Jade cannot do anything. She is absolutely helpless. And at some point he's going to get to X-Ray, he's going to do X-Ray. The beautiful part here is that X-Ray gives power generation, the X-Ray of Injustice 2 Raiden. Which basically means that you can get to another X-Ray really, really fast. And Jade cannot do anything. Look at this. Look at this. And once again... I would give him Block Breaker, but in general, this guy doesn't require Block Breaker. He's such an amazing fighter. Another X-Ray. Again, he's level 20, so you cannot expect huge damage out of him. But if you have some tower equipment and you have him at healthy fusion, let's say fusion 6 or fusion 7, you can give the best tower equipment to this guy. Especially if you have the epic that gives resistance to all the buffs. That would be the perfect uh, armor for him. And he's going to another X-Ray. And after this battle, Legendus is going to point something really, really important. Now, it is impossible, actually it is possible, but everything can happen. At some point, you might get killed. Let's say that extremely bad debuff is applied to you. Uh, such a debuff can be blind. You see, he's blind, which means that he's going to miss. At the moment his Revenant is triggered, he's going to exit the game. Why? Because by doing so, he's going to preserve the damage he dealt. And I really hope Warner Brothers not going to fix that, because this is the only way you can possibly defeat this with weak team. You can see the damage he dealt, really, really good. The damage to Jade is a little bit more because it was done actively by Raiden. The damage to uh, the other Jade, Death the Dead, and Kitana is done passively by classic Ermac passive. So, this is the thing. If you get blind, that's really, really bad. The moment you die, just uh, exit the game and then repeat. Go to another battle. And there is one more debuff that you have to be really, really careful about. Of course, if you get frozen or something, you have to exit. If you get blind, I mean, you can try. There is another thing that you could possibly do. Because Injustice to Raiden Special 1 has uh, Dispel. So, you can try to risk it. You can try to do Special 1 if Injustice to Raiden. Uh, immediately after I got Frostbitten or blind. And if Jade... Uh, evades, then you can exit immediately. But if she doesn't, that's good because you're going to dispel all the negative effects. And now, he's going to repeat the process. However, at some point around now, yeah, he's going to get frostbitten. And now he doesn't want to risk it. He doesn't uh, uh, want to risk it because being frostbitten is really annoying. Basically, she can possibly interrupt your basic attacks, which means that she can kill you. And you don't want to die because if she kills you, then uh, the entire boss team is going to start regenerating, which is horrible. So, what you can do in this situation, you can either quit immediately, or you can try to do special one, dispel successfully, or if she evades, then you can quit immediately. B uh, I mean, one of the things is a little bit, look at this. Yeah, he knew that he was going to die, so he quit. Or, yeah, the moment she evades, you can also try to quit immediately. So, this is the things that you can do. And, after... N number of attempts. I don't know how many attempts it took him, probably about 20, 15 or 20. You can pass this stage with Injustice to Raven. Once again, if you don't have it and you're wondering whether it's worth spending... And another beautiful thing, he kills the first girl and then he exits immediately. Because if he doesn't do that, they're going to regenerate and he doesn't have enough damage. So the moment he kills Jade, you have to 
exit the game and you have to restart it. And you have to repeat the process with Dev the Dead Jade until the last girl standing is Kitana. Really beautiful strategy, really beautiful. And that showcases how Legendus really knows the game and he knows every single character in that. Now, uh, Justice to Raiden, once again, he's available now. If you want to spend $10, $20, this is the best thing to do. If you cannot really pass the stage. Now, it is debatable whether buying Justice to Raiden or buying one tower pack is better. I don't know. <laughs> it is totally up to you. But uh, this showcases how strong this character is. And once Jade is dead, but basically you can do a uh, special one if you just to raid them. You're free to go. <laughs> really, really good. Well done to the genders once again. I rest my case here. Uh, Injustice to Raiden is a total boss, just like Classic Raiden. Sadly, Classic Raiden isn't that great against bosses. He's going to exit again. Really, really smart. He's going to lose one attempt, but after all, the last girl standing is Kitana. And I know that the little, the final blow is going to be dealt by Monk himself. That's the complete and utter humiliation. Look at this, look at this now. Injustice Raiden is going to do some damage, he's going to do some work. And this is slow motion. Are you ready, guys? <laughs> Alright, she is so low. Where is Monk? Where is Monk? I want Monk to deliver the final hit. Where is Monk? Where is Monk? Come on, tack him in. Tack him in. Oh my god, the Injustice 2 combo and there is going to be enough? No, no, actually it is. Damn, I, I was convinced that Monk is going to deliver the final blow, but uh, he wasn't. And we have the bonus round, let's see what's, what's that. Or is it some kind of other thing? Oh, okay. <laughs> brutality. It's one, of, it's one of the best uh, brutalities in the game, quite honestly. Uh, Alright guys, so I really hope you find this video useful. Once again, if you don't have uh, Injustice 2 Raiden, uh, you can buy him. He's currently available in the store, so it was amazing coincidence. If you do have him, uh, you can try this strategy, it will work 100%, you just have to make sure that you exit the game at the correct time. If you get frostbitten or blind, you can try to dispel the debuffs by doing special one. However, if Jade evades, you have to exit the game immediately. If she doesn't evade, then you can continue, um, you know, applying the punishment on her <laughs> until she dies. And when she dies, you have to exit the game again. So, uh, you can make sure that the other two girls won't regenerate back to full HP. This is the way you defeat this tower. Classic Urmak is a total boss. Legendus is a total boss. And uh, who else? Injustice to Raiden is a total boss. And no, I'm not a total boss because I use maxed out diamonds with... Um, with extremely overpowered uh, gear and just uh, and I just overpower the stages. <laughs> okay, guys, this is going to be all for me for today. I really hope you found this video useful. This is extremely, extremely 100% free to play. Uh, once again, Injustice to Raiden. I if you don't have him, and you want to spend something on the game like ten, ten dollars. Now is the time to do that. Uh, if you have him, then this is your lucky day. See you next time, guys. Take care and stay safe. Perfect.